To get premium trading and investing tips, support on Patreon. How's it going everybody and welcome to another market watch video guys today on stream we were watching uh, EA release these new sexy freaking cards like we had Aubameyang and Didi, Jabi, Renato Sanchez and Bruno Perez um these cards seem quite good the live items of course they will react similarly to the UCL cards except that they are in the Europa League competition so they will get upgraded if uh, their teams proceed into the next um, into the next round, now uh, they also released uh, an 83 rated with a team of the week requirement. As we see, at all this dude looks sick, but um, Nice is right now at third position and they play the next game i do believe against slavia praga so if they draw or lose that one it's gonna get quite tight for nice to get into the next round um then we do have in the group a roma and ea actually released all of these cards and i do like the most bruno perez because the right back here there's not many options uh, in Serie A with the right backs right now. And also the Bruno Perez is Brazilian. It's easier to link up. And I do think this is going to be a great investment. But since EA said that these cards are going to be out until 17th of November. So that's Tuesday. I do believe that they're going to be very good uh, buys either on Friday when the second UCL team gets out. So when people actually bring the supply on the market because of that team being released or Sunday with the weekend league sell-off. So there's two potential sell points. We're gonna follow these patterns and all of that. Look at it. Right now, the supply is basically non-existent. Renato Sanchez over 1 million is too much sitting there right now. Bruno Perez extinct at 200K. If we just look at Diaby, I do believe he is close to like, what, 240, something like that. And he's got like a cap on 250. Too much. Come on, this card isn't worth 233. It just shows how there's not enough supply on the market right now and how all of these cards will actually start dropping uh, all, already on Thursday with the rewards and all of that. So basically, they're out for seven days. We could expect another road to final team released maybe next tuesday with the ucl cards but all in all we will find a low point and the investment i love the most right here uh is definitely bruno paris uh, i do believe he's one of the cards that uh will make the best moves um i did predict that quadrado if bruno paris was out is gonna drop a bit but right now it's not dropping because bruno paris is extinct but as soon as Bruno Perez gets a bit lower and because he's a live item and all of that, I do predict it can have a tool on Quadrado and he can start dipping as well. So be careful if you hold one. Uh, also getting into Thursday or anything like that, I do believe after the weekend, as we were saying on the streams and all of that, we do have a market dip. The market overall will start dropping. So this is also the week that you want to get out of most of the stuff. The only cards you want to keep is the road to final cards the live items and the ones to watches and the discards and the m forms that are close to discard and all of those that aren't high end that can make you huge losses the highest end cards i definitely sell the gold cards cristiano ronaldo all of these dudes i predict that they'll be lower right now sitting at 1.5 million uh, i do think he, he can go lower than that any one of these gold cards can go so if you guys can play with a cheaper team that you're content losing coins and invest with the other coinage that you have elsewhere for three weeks if you can do that uh if you don't mind playing the weekend league like that you can profit a lot and in three weeks time you're gonna have a very good team now we will be looking at the um the fodder value cards but if we go and check the fodder values right now uh, most of them have already started rising uh, and we were looking I do believe at Navas on stream right now and he was going up close to 19k which was crazy the goalkeeper Navas at 19k already you guys bought him at 15k if you were on stream I do believe uh, at like the end of last week on Friday we were talking about it Thursday, I told you guys, you know, Mbappe player of the month, hype will start. He's a good buy, close to 15k. You guys bought it and he's right now can be sold at 20k to lazy buyers. If you keep releasing all of these cards right now to lazy buyers, I think it's time to sell. Because what happened is EA, uh, not EA, but actually people who follow EA saw the video about the player of the month, League One, getting out, uh, which is potentially either going to be this Friday, but because uh, the current League One Player of the Month is out on 20th, it might be the case that they put Mbappe next Friday, and I do think Mbappe will win it. 
Let's say if Mbappe doesn't win it, that's gonna even bring the, the fodder valued cards even lower. For example, if that Bamba dude wins it. So if that's the case, either way, when Mbappe is out, the fodder will be back down. If it's on 20th or if it's this Friday, you might want to get already slightly away out of the fodder, list them up, get those profits, wait till Mbappe is out as everybody invested for Mbappe, as we can see, because these cards that um, are from Paris Saint-Germain, we saw, for example, Navas usually being 1k lower than the other cards. Right now, he's even higher. He's at 19k if we look specifically. Uh, and he was earlier a bit close to 20k. Di Maria is at 22k. So this just tells you that the hype on the Paris Saint-Germain is for Mbappe right now. And because the hype is for Mbappe, we do predict that the best time to sell would be in the hype as always. If you guys remember what happened with Messi last year, uh, a Muller card, for example, went at 16k. He dropped to 14k as soon as Messi, Messi was out of player of the month. Most of the fodder dropped. And it can happen again, uh, so be careful with it. Uh, I'm definitely selling my fodder right now to lazy buyers, 1k, 2k hires, for example. I, I'm content uh, getting out of Navas at 20k uh, and rebuying him as soon as uh, that Mbappe player of the month is out uh, for lower value, potentially down to 17 again, k or 16 maybe at the supply. Hopefully, we can get them there and then invest for the Icon SBCs that we can profit from. The last thing that I want to show you guys. It's something that it's unbelievable to me right now. Uh, uh, Renato Sanchez wrote to final. It is too high, but look at this. Look at look at how look at the hype here. He's up to 250. I can't believe this. Come on. Like the hype on this card is crazy. Um, I never thought it can go up. I saw it at 220, and I thought it's gonna go lower. And I told people not to buy. I told even people potentially to sell it because I didn't believe that so many people really want this card and it just shows how much about the hype this year is so whenever there's a card that's hyped as much as renato sanchez if you can find these gems over uh the next weeks in any of the cards i feel like you can profit so much because it seems like they're just gonna keep on rising whatever happens the road to final is too high in value of course you, you would be out of your mind buying him at 1.1 million right now but all in all guys the hyped up players are the ones that give you the best results and like even if this dude got the second in form in my opinion he would still wouldn't crash as hard at this stage uh than he uh is going for right now just because uh the hype on him is just mad guys if you have any questions drop them down below don't don't forget tomorrow 5 30 p.m uk time we stream again be there on twitch uh, if you have uh, any further questions below or on twitch and i'll see you tomorrow have a good one. Cheers.